Okay, I'm reloading. I'm checking the light. I usually do a test subject. Let me just pick a random call to do a test subject with something like that. I'll use my old Cobra, Shelby Cobra, which is a classic too. Yeah, that's back when you could get stuff with the hood opening up and it was not premium. Headlights are done, taillights are not done. I think I did something on these cars in one of my older videos talking about my f underrated castings or something like that. And that's one of them. Had that car probably since... I probably had that car before I started back collecting as an adult, to be honest. Probably just had that car and picked it up before I started really getting serious. I had it at least since 2008. Might, might have been 2007. But definitely 2008. I, I had the car by then. One of my earliest... When I started getting with Hot Wheels, but oh well. Enough yapping. Uh, <clears throat> I did another video earlier, but I knew for a while because I was supposed to do a video. Friday, I didn't for some reason. Dealing with some other stuff. So, the show and tell was supposed to be Friday. I was supposed to do odds and ends today, so I'm going to have to do odds and ends too. This is odds and ends. It should be number seven, but if I'm wrong, it will be number eight, but I, I think it's number seven. <clears throat> Usually better prepared, but just decided to go ahead with this and let me start rambling. Um. Uh, Got these cars here, so I'm just going to, so I took them out the case. First, we're going to go with the, uh, with this Batmobile. I mean, Batman, uh, Batcopter. A lot of people, y'all have been seeing it on your, uh, on different people's pages. This is two out of five of that current Batman series for this year, I guess. And they're not going to show what's in there. So. I'm just going to put that in there. That's pretty cool. Of course, the rotors do its thing. Don't have no M. Doesn't even have, does it have wheels? On the, it don't even have wheels on the bottom. It would have been cool if they put some wheels on, actual wheels on the bottom. So I guess you just just supposed to with your hands. This has a turret. I thought Batman doesn't use guns. Maybe it's some kind of other weapon. That's pretty cool for what it is. I'm just gonna put that in there. Let's just take up the space. Find the thing you put in here. There you go. Next, we got the uh, bag. I guess we got to do it by what's up there. Next, we got the McLaurin. McLaren. I always mispronounce that. McLaren P1. And this, I guess, is this a C green? It has tail lights and headlights. It's a pretty cool looking car. Pretty cool. And this is HW Exotic Series. <clears throat> so 
Tuvo de... Next, we got the uh, Corvette from the Factory Refresh series. This is a 2019 ZR1 Corvette. Is that Stingray? No. No, ZR1 convertible. Got a final place for this bad boy. Usually put convertibles and Corvettes in my bedroom, but I'm running out of space, so this is cool. I like color. Orange is one of my favorite colors, so you know, orange and black theme. It's pretty cool. I wish they did a chrome trim or, or even a blue around these rims, but in a way that works because you don't have to worry about after a while, well, especially when they do that trim, it wears off. So it's a pretty cool car. They did a good job. I already seen, I guess, the future plans for the new Corvette. It's not out yet, but they they already working on it. It's all probably already done. Next, we got this uh, 2016 Lamborghini Centiaro Roadster. Well, HW Roadster series. It's funny, I was just playing Forza. And, uh, that's one of the cars in there. It looks cool in that white. I wonder do I have one here. I have everything else almost on display. I don't see one right now. I know I usually have the the one that looks like the um the one on the Forza cover here, but I don't see it. I think it's I think I put it up. So let's just move on. That's pretty cool. Headlights, tail lights. It's pretty cool. They did a good job. Next, we got the uh, HW Screen Time uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Party Van. It's pretty cool for what it is. It doesn't have all the detail. But yeah, it's pretty cool for what it is. I like this part and the way it imitates their uh their snarl, even though they don't do that on the cartoon show. In the comic books, that was one of their famous expressions. It's got turtles in the front on the shell. I guess there's some weapons up there. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. They did a good job. <clears throat> Next, we got uh, the boom, Bone Shaker from the HW Art Cars. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm not really feeling the blue wheels, but it is a Bone Shaker. Classic design. I got a few on here. There's one right here. I think this is that Rocket League one, which I snagged. It's sitting on real riders. Yes, I forgot when that came out. I think it did come out last year. I think that's the only bone shaker I have here. Even though I have others put away. So that's cool. Mm. 
Next, we got this uh, this Matchbox Volkswagen. It says the Beetle convertible. I don't know. I think it's a 2010. I think for some reason it's 2010, 2012, maybe 2014, something like that. Might be near, might be closer to uh, 2016. But it's up to date. It's pretty cool, man. It's got headlights. It's got the emblem done. It's got some indicators in the front. It's got a lot of details. It's got side mirrors. They could have did the, uh, even though it's molded, they could have did the convertible another color, make it look more realistic. But it's got tail lights, indicators on the back, a little license plate. They did a good job on this. Great job. <clears throat> and last but not least, we got the uh, 98 Honda Prelude from the Honda series. Been looking for this bad boy for a minute since probably what, the summer? Well, it's the summer now, but I, I've been looking for it for since, I should say, summer began, but I've been looking for it pretty much since January. Yeah, I think so. Or at least March. They did a good job on that. It's got Japanese license plate. It's supposed to be based on somebody's car. I think it was based on somebody, uh, somebody's father's car or one of their uncle's car or something like that. I want to say Rio Asada. I don't know if it was based on. It's based on somebody's car they knew. That's cool. They did a good job with the dimensions. I can't wait till they uh, do something with this casting and uh, premium car culture which the hoarders are going to go crazy if they do that now let's get to the premium cars I got my cars that I did from uh, I think we were from show and tell number 77 or 70 yeah no show and tell number yeah 77 because 78 was all Hot Wheels so these are Chantel's number 77. And this is that 1961 Pontiac Catalina from Johnny Lightning. I think it was uh, it's supposed to be a 2017. It's three years old, but right now that's what's going on. They got a burgundy one that I don't like. But this one's pretty cool. Engine detail. It's a sleeper. I like cars like this that are uh, more stock, more authentic. See the interior in here. I wish they would have did the interior a different color, like white. Been a little more realistic, even though they probably did how color that interior. But maybe black or white. White, preferably. Maybe a two-tone. Tail lights look good. I like the license plate on that, too. Oh. It's always cool when the hood's open. I like the way they did it. It's, it's, it's like the real car with the flat, with the hood, this part goes up. This little front part goes up with the hood. That's cool. They did a great job on that. Next, we got this. Uh,
69 Chevy Camaro. It doesn't say if it's a Z28 or SS or not. It's just a plain Camaro. Sorry. That's according to them. And this is from 2018. Like I always say before, the circulation, green light, Johnny Lightning, all over. It's funny. It's got road tail lights. I love the paint job on this. I really don't like these wheels. It's like, they look kind of cheesy. They don't look like the wheels right here to me. Those are probably a deep a dish. But I guess they got as close as they could without, I guess. Copyright infringement or whatever. Hood don't. It's kind of not open and wide enough. It's got orange heads or something in there. She got some engine detail. The grill looks good. So this is a custom job because the Chevy symbol is colored up. It's color black like the grill it's a black and grill so it's supposed to be a custom it's supposed to be kind of like a sleeper i guess i love the paint job on this interior eh, it's pretty much drab but all in all this is a good addition to the collection green white usually don't have side mirrors on their car very rare Johnny Lightning doesn't do it either. They do whatever. Sometimes. But that's an older Johnny Lightning. You put mirrors on that. Next, we got the cars that we just did in Show and Tell 79. So, let's go with the... Uh, with the Jeep, 1974 Jeep CJ, Renegade. This was a, a green light hobby exclusive, and I think it was from 2018. I ordered that online. These two, all these cars I got online. Pretty cool. The hood does not open. That's why I didn't want to get these Jeeps beginning on. I knew the hood didn't open. I don't understand why they can't do that. But, um, it's open. So, you can see the interior. Steering wheel looks kind of big. But, oh well. Wheel looks good. Everything looks good for what it is. I just don't like no white wall tires. So they should have did white leather tires. It would have looked better. Moving on, we got this uh, 1994 Ford F-150 Lightning and green light. And this was hobby exclusive, but it was from... 2019 which pretty much you might as well say 2020 sometimes stuff takes a long time to get out this one got lens headlights which is sometimes they go the cheap route and usually color paint them the grill looks spectacular on this thing There is that it says Ford trucks on the little on the windshield. That you can see the windshield rifles. Paid a lot of attention to the detail. The Ford and it's got that special glass. On it. I guess it slides or whatever. 
A lot of detail. He did some good work on the uh, tail lights too. You know, the tail lights look like they painted. Usually, you don't want to get Lance tail lights and Lance headlights. Unless you're going premium, premium. That's got to be like $20 call. 20, 20 to something uh, dollar call. Mini GT or something like that. That's cool. I like the wheels on here too. I like the wheels that really belong in here. You know, this one looks kind of funky in the front. Looking kind of funky. Yeah. They did a good job on this. And of course, the trunks, with the trucks, the hood never opens. I don't, I don't know why. I would like to meet one of their designers in person. It's like, now why y'all don't never for the trucks and the police cars had a hood open? Might probably come with some excuse. Well, that's pretty much it, man. I'm not going to keep it. As far as uh, viewers, like I always say, this is not the uh, best diecast channel. It's not the worst. Model here, show a little love to the diecast. Hopefully, you decide to uh, subscribe and hit the notification notification bell. Excuse me, so you can be notified of the newest, latest content. As for the subscribers, want to thank you for your support. This is a blue cars channel. I'm not hooked up with any hobby shops. Not hooked up with any diecast companies. I wish I was, but who oh well and. So I'm happy to get any kind of support I get, you know. I want to thank you for taking time out your schedule to watch the videos. That's pretty much it, man. Peace and blessings. Hope everybody stays safe. Until next time, Big Don Pacino signing out. This was Odds and Ends. Hopefully number seven. <laughs> Hopefully that's correct. If it's not, it's number eight, but... Uh, until next time, peace and blessings.